In this video, we are going to create the tic-tac-toe using JavaScript. You may be familiar with tic-tac-toe. X and O. Now, in this case, the O wins. Let's see how the X wins looks like. And there are three possibility. X wins, O wins, or there is draw. This is how X wins. And let's see the draw. This is how the draw fine now if you see if I hover it hover on it I will get the hint but I am not allowed to click on the place where it is already filled so there is this switching of term between X and Y so this is because of the class if I remove the class you can see if I hover it it is not going to work now I have added X so you can see now now I have added O so you can see now the hint O shows up now X now O fine now if I add X here you will see on the first box there would be X we are not able to see it is because the JavaScript is not allowing us to show so let me remove the script and if I add X you will see the first box will have X if I create O on the second box you will create the O you will see the O the same way wherever I click on the box and we won't call it as a box we will call, we'll, we'll call it as a cell so whenever I click on a div this cell and to follow along I leave the source code in the description and these are the steps we are going to create so let me define the HTML this is the heading you can see and we have a container which is which has a class called board and each of them each of uh, one board has nine cells inside it fine let me save this script as a backup so in case if we stuck somewhere we can look up into it and I'm going to create the script from scratch and the same is for the style let me create the backup for the style so in case if we stuck somewhere we can refer it we won't be creating the HTML but we will create the style and CSS style and script tag fine this is how the plain HTML looks like so let us add the required CSS so we know uh, for, for the first time we will select all the CSS all the HTML property and we will add box sizing border box oh you can see that it's in the script tag I have to cut it and paste it on the style sheet style.css so I have chosen all the elements and I have added the property box sizing border box now I'm going to add padding and margin to zero to remove the browser default setting now let's let me choose a body and let me add the width and height so that I can give display flex to position the board as in container in the center of the screen. Display flex, justify content center and align atom center will allow you to have whatever inside we have in the body. It will be it can be seen on the center of the screen. So to see the visual output let me add the cell let me give the height and width to the cell as 100 percent 100 pixel and let me add the background color to it as a black so the child has two uh, the board the, sorry the body has two child so that's why now it's one above the other it is because of the property flex direction color now let's choose the container and let's have the display grid so I want some columns so the column would be 3 which is of auto shape now let me add let me add height to the body under vertical height fine now let me add a padding or you can say margin bottom to the heading tag so that we can get some space between the heading and the board class and let me add the border border on all sides with the width of one pixel 
with color black now we have to remove these top borders so choose the class and with the selector first child and along with the first child we need to choose the second child and the third child I have to remove the border top and place it as none this is for first child let me let me make it for second child and third child just by calling the property end child 2 and end child 3 so the first second and third child will not have bottom now let's remove the border left call the class cell and use the nth child and pass 3 and plus 1 so in place of 1 there would be 1 2 and 3 I want the border left to be none so to target the right side I would use the same technique and in this time I'll pass 3 and plus 3 border right to none now it's time for the bottom we have to choose manually with the help of n child 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now it's 7 8 and 9 let me add border bottom to none and now that's working now let me zoom a bit with the help of control plus and then what I'm going to do is let's create the X and O let me add X over here so choose a class X which is with the class cell so with the I want the X to be placed perfectly center of the box so for that display flex and align item center would work and I want to give the height and width so before that let me add the position as well so I'm going to use a pseudo element pseudo yeah pseudo element which is before and after content is mandatory if you're using before or after now I'm going to add a width of 10 pixel or 20 pixel and height to be 100 pixel and the background let it be to black now let me create the after pseudo element the same way I'm going to do it but here I would be adding transform sorry transform rotate 45 degree I have added position we need to add position absolute now let me see let me add after the same way let me create one more time but in this time I will give rotate minus 45 degree these are not perfectly centered to make it perfectly centered we would use position absolute because I have given the child uh, parent which is cell relative fine now let's create the O the same way call the class cell which has O with it copy paste the same thing because we want our O to be on the center of the box now let me add the width and height to be 100 percent that is 100 pixel and 100 pixel now let me add the background color so that we can see some visual screen so to make it round I would be using border radius 50, 50 percentage fine now just like the above one we will be using the pseudo element for pseudo element the content property is mandatory or else it won't work or it won't show up now let me create the after so this would be a small circle compared to be compared to the before so we have to add a background color for its black and its white for after its white 
it is not working it i think it is because display flex let me make flex traction caller and it is not also working let me remove it let's start from uh, start from without having display flex Let me add the absolute to before and after. So let's check now whether it is working or not. Now let's add a display flux. X and Y will have the same property, so I'm adding fine. Let me make it 60. We need to decrease the size of X I guess. In place of 100 let me make it 80. Fine that's okay. Now let's work on the board. Let's add X so that we can see the X when I hover. So previously we were styling the O and X. Now we would be styling the cell which is inside the class board. So we will place a common attribute here. The border radius is repeating and the position absolute is re repeating and the content is also repeating. So we will place this common over here. We have already defined above, let me remove it. Now we are going to do the same thing. Previously we were, we were designing the X and O, now we would be designing the cell which is inside the class X. The X is with now the class board. We won't be writing separately. So the hover is working. Let's add it over here because both are same. So when I hover on the cell, I want the pseudo element before and after. We'll get the same property and we need to add the translate uh, rotate and uh, rotate 45 degree now what is missing is display flux is missing copy it and paste these all gonna share the same class or I mean property now if you see when I hover on X I want I don't want it to change so for that I'll use the selector not so the, the hover should not affect the class X and the class O that's what I meant so when I hover, I don't want the style to be applied on the class X or the class O. Now let's work on the cursor. For every cell, I want the cursor to be pointer. And when there is the class X or when there is a class O, I want the cursor to be not allowed. Cursor not allowed. Now when I hover on the class X or class O, you will see the not allowed cursor and other than that you will see the normal cursor which is pointer. Now let's work on the O. 
the same way we are not going to repeat it previously we were designing this cell so the o class now we will be designing the cell individual cell which is inside the class o with the class board now it's after and we need to add the common style now this time it is o fine now we need to add a light gray color so we know the css will run from top to bottom so whatever we write below will be overridden so in place of background color black i would be giving light gray and that's working the same way do it for the x as well so for x we need to give after and before because we have cross it is a combination of two element and that's also working now let's work on css let me remove all the classes we will be adding it on the style sheet sorry we will be adding it using script tag now we know we have more cells inside the div with class board i want to get all the cells so for that document.query selector we need to pass the class cell and we will be storing these cell into a variable called cell element and cell element is a node list we can use for each function and this for each function will have will can be the for each can be accessed the for each will help you to access individual cells so these individual cells will add a event listener which is click i want to add a event listener click to every cells and the event listener is not just for multiple time i want it to be only once that means if i clicked on the cell first it should work only for the first time if i click it again it should not work so let me show you what does i mean what is that i what is that i meant to say now it's now you can see i have passed the object once true if i click on the second again if i click now let me remove it and show you that's when that's why that's that is when we're we'll going to understand let me make it once false whichever time i click you'll see it is going to get incremented on the same cell if i make it true i am allowed to click only once even if i try to click more it is going to execute only once that is what i meant now we have to store the class x and y into a variable let me name the variable as class underscore x and this class underscore x will have the x the class underscore o will have the class o so when i click on it i want the cell to have a class either x or o for time being let's just add x this x is simply the class x and that's working if you want to add o you just have to change the variable name to o fine now let's ha let's create a boolean value which is is class x to true it is not a string it is a boolean so we have we don't have to pass it to a quotes if it is class x i want to add the class x if it is o i want to add the class o now the x is true so the x is going to work we have created the boolean variable uh, i said it is a boolean so let me remove the, let me make it boolean now it's time to switch the turn now if you see the x class is true once everything is done i want it to change to false so each time if you click 
once it will be x and other time it will be false because you have swapped it with the help of not operator now we want to show the hint so after i click there is no showing of hint so let me show the hint so for that this is for the swapping swap turn and now we are going to and now we are going to add the hint show hint before clicking so for that let me get the class board with the help of query selector previously I have used query selector all now it's just the query selector and the class name is board let me store it into a variable called board and I'm going to add an event listener to it which is click when I click on a board I want a class to be I want a class to get added to it it will depend upon the boolean value inside the board wherever I click I want the class to get added if it is X then add the X class else add the O class If I refresh it, if I get into the element to show whether we are whether we are able to see x and y to be added on board, there is error. Let me see why. It is because it is a class. We have to add dot to it. Now let's check. The board does not have a class again. There is an error. Let me see why. I have to store the current class to a variable and depending upon the current class we will add class to the board element now let's check again now you can see x is added and now again o is added so what we need to do is we have before adding we need to remove both the class x and o and add it again remove the X and remove the O now if you see if you notice over here X O X O X O X O and X and that is working now let's get the winning combination and we need to understand the logic and we are going to store the logic inside the array and it's not just a single array it's array inside array so what the logic is 1 2 and 3 to be should be filled array starts with 0 and 3 4 and 5 consider this place as x now if the x is in the position 6 7 and 8 it is win now let's get into the horizontal one so if there is the position if the x zero position has x and if the third position has x and if the sixth position has x it's win and again if first position and fourth position and five position sorry seven position has x it's a win and again if two five and eight position has x it's again the win it's the last row now it's time for the diagonal one if zero four and eight has the position x it's a win if 2 4 and 6 has a position x it's a win it can be either x or it can be either 0 it is a win these are the winning combination we have done this we have swapped it we need to place this logic below above the swapping so if it is a win then I have to show the message the winner there is another case if there is draw then I have to show the message accordingly so is win and is draw is going to return boolean value that is true or false we'll look at in a minute 
and is draw we will check whether all the values are filled and on the else block we need to continue the process which is, that is swapping be fine now let's create the is when function we are passing the current class to it so get the array which is winning combination and perform the sum operation and and in as an argument we will be getting single row this is first row and this is second row and so on we'll be getting individual row and at this individual row again it's an array we use the every operator every function and now we'll get individual index 0 1 and 2 so in each index of the element this is the element we'll pass the index in each index if there is a class the class list dot contain if it contain the current class let's consider as consider it as x if it is x then return true that's what it means so let's check let me console log and show the message as the winner is and let me pass the class current class which should be either x or y sorry x or 0 for time being let me remove the is draw function I believe we have made one simple mistake let me see why let me see what now if you see the hover the hint is not working properly let me let us see why the hint is not working the hint is showing x but it is pasting o so for that you can see the x is showing up but if i click the o should o would be appending it is because of the add event listener we should not have added listener we have just gone through with the if else statement fine now it would work this class we need to remove the class and replace with our class now it's working let's see the winner if x wins it says x is the winner fine that is working so in place of console I'll use the alert function of JavaScript now let's work on the draw in the same way we would check whether if all the cells are filled with class either x or o if if all the cells are filled with class either x or o then we will return true so let's create a function now we need to get all the element with class cell and these element should contain actually it's a node list we need to convert it to array I have converted it to array and with the help of every function if every element we will be getting individual cell if individual if every cell has class list which contain either class X or class Y class X let me paste it over here so that I can copy paste it easily or class O return true now if either all of them is filled either X or O will get the output as true and in that case I want to show the message it's draw so let me fill completely in this case x wins to make it draw I have to draw this kind of pattern and now it's draw and that's working now what we need is after draw or after win I want to reset the game so for that I will create a function called start game I have call, I'm calling this function start game now I'm going to define the function start game 
and this start game function will simply have the event listener and the boolean value and this start function say it's start game will be called whether it is draw or whether it is win or lose after win i want to paste this function or i want to call this function and after draw also i want to call this function and i believe the work is done if you click on ok it is going to start again not working let me see why i have to remove the class x with the help of for each loop the same way i have to remove class o with the help of for each if i win or if i draw make a draw x is a winner and it is getting started again that's all for this video thank you so much for listening